How can a community partner engage students in meaningful reflection? As an important stage of the experiential learning circle, reflection enables learners to engage in deeper and more meaningful learning. According to David Kolb, an American educational theorist, reflection requires the capacity for critical thinking so that there's an internal transformation of experience. There are opportunities for employers, community partners, and faculty to help students enhance their reflective practice. For employers or community partners, it may be about providing time and mentoring for reflection. For faculty, it may mean developing specific assignments that connect reflective activities to learning outcomes. When these stakeholders work together to construct an educational model that uses reflection to link learning outside the classroom with classroom theory, students can gain greater self-awareness, understanding of themselves, and important life skills. In terms of structuring the reflection piece, uh, in my role at Georgian, uh, the reflection is built into any, anything that we do, right? Whether, again, that's a, that could be a, a major assignment, uh, or maybe the assignment in its entirety is reflective in nature. Uh, and that gives students, I think, a time to be intentional about, um, about that reflect, reflection process. It might not be something that is a default mode for a lot of students to, to sit back and, and reflect, but um, if I'm being honest, when, when it maybe is worth 10 or 15% of a final mark, that can be, that can be uh, a way to, to encourage that time. Um, it's not something that can be forced or coaxed, I don't think, out of any individual, but I think when we structure it in a way that when we structure it in a way that allows for students to go through a kind of a staged process of, of, of how that's going to work for them personally and provide them with the resources to do that, whether that's self-assessment surveys or different, different tools like that, then they're able to, then they're absolutely able to, to work through it. And then oftentimes too, you'll find that the feedback on those assignments will, would be that they, they enjoyed it. They really, really, like love that process and, 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 and so that's always interesting to, to note as well. We thought we're going to build in a reflection piece um, so they uh, that was a, I guess it was the second iteration of the course the proper course we introduced uh, weekly reflections so they would write small they're very small journal entries at first they had a lot of difficulty doing it um, because they weren't used to writing that they, they're coming out of a three year three years of undergrad and they're used to writing research papers uh, so when you're asking them to write this very different and, and very kind of personal and, and reflective meta level uh, consideration of their own experiences, uh, they just weren't used to it. So by around Christmas, they started to get the hang of it. Um, and we had a small reflection paper due um, around Christmas. Uh, that's now become more of a question driven assignment because it takes a little while for these uh, uh, placements to really get going. So they don't have a lot to reflect on early on. It's more in the second term. Um, and so uh, they started to get the hang of that and then at the end we have a, a larger reflection piece where they look back on it and that's where the journal proved to be really really useful uh, because when they look back on what they were saying in the first term about their kind of anxieties and i can't do this uh, i don't have any skills i've learned a lot of stuff i've read a lot of books i wrote a lot of essays um, but they realize that they have things like research skills and interpersonal skills, all that kind of stuff, group skills, uh, presentation skills that they didn't recognize until, or didn't recognize until we asked them to look for those things through both the, the workshops that we had with the guest speakers and through those reflection papers. And then on the reflection side of things, again, keeping in mind with experiential education, uh, needing to have that type of graded assessment or self-assessment component uh, which for my own background in, uh, in math and science and even with business, it's not a common thing uh, to think reflection or the, the word reflection isn't a super friendly word, um, but it, it, it can be done. So we sat down with a few faculty members and kind of thought up, okay, let, maybe we don't use the word reflection, but we're still going to have the students do some type of self-assessment. So we developed called a thought paper um, and it's very simple, you know, one or two pages just sit back, hand in your paper, do your presentation with your team. That's done. Now sit back and on your own, by yourself, somewhere, wherever you do your thinking, just look back on the project and think to yourself, what did I learn from this process? What did I uh, learn about myself, maybe about my career path, about that particular field? Maybe I learned that I absolutely love that field or I don't. Um, and we see that quite a bit and, and we use that. We say that's a learning opportunity. If you do a project like this and you come out of it and say, I absolutely 
do not want to spend any more time in this space, that's okay. Because as a student, that's part of the learning. And if that can help make a better career decision, then I'll take that all day long.